Hey, what is up you guys? In this video, I'm gonna give you an email marketing guide for dropshippers. All right guys, so the way to do this is really, really simple. There's an app for that. You don't have to do anything manually. Just go to the app section of your Shopify store and you can install something like Sendvio. This is only one of them. There are dozens of apps that do this, that handle emails and all of the email marketing area. This is the one that we have used. Now, if you click on the email automation, you will be able to see automated campaigns for your email. Here you will be able to select between abandoned checkouts, complete orders and new subscribers. Now there are a few email categories that you really, really want to dig into. First of all is the welcome email. You want to feel like a brand. You want to feel like somebody who respects their customers. So you really want to send out a welcome email to your customer. For that, you got to go to the new subscriber section and hit on welcome emails. Once you're here, you will see that you will be able to select how many emails you want to send and edit the email templates. Now I would recommend you to only send one email as a welcome email because nobody's interested in that. You can basically design the email the way you want to design it and you can change the colors, change the text, change everything. It's only a welcome email so your customers will feel more welcome to your website. Next up, you really want to have manners. You want to thank your customers for purchasing from your store. For that, you got to go to the completed order section and go to the thank you email. It's really simple. You can edit this email as well. You can edit the logo, the text, everything, the colors. And as an extra, you can edit also a discount code in this email. So your customers will have a future discount to incentivize them to buy something from you again. And I would highly recommend this. Finally, for your email automation, I would highly, highly recommend you to go to the abandoned checkout section. This is the most important one. Click on the abandoned checkouts. Now, this one will send out emails to people who did not buy anything from your store, who left without buying. Now, this is important because that's the majority of people. You know, not everybody buys from you. Like 95% of the people who visit your store, maybe even more, will not buy anything. And you want to have those people back. You want to send them emails and you want to bring them back with offers. You want to bring them back and you want to remind them that they have forgot to buy something from your store. Now as you can see this campaign is a bit different from the others. It has three emails instead of one. Now why did I do this? Because when somebody wants to buy something from you they add it to the cart and they leave without buying. That's a really powerful customer. You really want to bring that customer back because that's a huge value for you. That's why you have to send them three different emails. Now let's go to the email templates. As you can see from this section you will be able to edit the email sequence. You can edit the first one, the second and the third one. For example, the first email has to be sent like 10 minutes after the customer abandons their checkout. Now I'm saying 10 minutes because that's a fresh period of time. They still remember your store, they still know what's up, they still remember the product and you have to remind them of this. People check out their emails really often and when you are sending them an email, they will see a notification of the email. They will remember your brand. And the first email should contain something like, hey client, you left something behind. So come on and buy it right now. You forgot it in your cart. And once they click on the complete your order button right here, they will go to your checkout page and they will be able to check out right then and there. You can get their money in that instance. Now, if they don't do it, you will have a second option. You will send them a second email five hours after the first one was sent. Now this is also a really powerful email because you will also remind them that they have forgot something. This is different from the first one only because of the fact that you are offering a discount. Now in the first one you didn't offer a discount, you only reminded them that they forgot something in their cart. And this is really important, you don't want to offer a discount in the first try because maybe you will get them back from the first try without having to uh, give them a discount. And this is more money for you. On the second email, you gotta offer them a discount because maybe they didn't buy from the first one. The second one must convince them. And that's the story with the third one as well. The third one should be sent 18 hours after the second email. So this email will be sent around like 24 hours after they have abandoned their, their checkout. Now this email has the same purpose of the first two emails. It's the same thing. You will basically remind the customer that they have forgot the product. You can offer them a discount as well, but no more than this. There are a lot of companies that are doing like four or five emails. That's not good because you will stress your customers out. You will spam them and they will not be happy about it. I think that anything that's below three, it's more than enough. You don't need more than three emails to convince your customer to buy. So guys, a small recap. First of all, really important to send out a welcome email to your customers to make them feel like home. Second of all, thank them after they buy something from you. And, and third of all, most importantly, don't forget to send out abandonment protector emails to the customers that abandoned the checkout. This is really important because a lot of customers who want to buy something from your store will not buy anything from your store because they will forget. There's a lot of things that can come in the way and you really want to remind them via emails to come back and finish their purchase.
That was it for this video guys, thank you for watching, hit that like button to help us with the YouTube algorithm and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be among the first ones who will receive a notification when we are posting something new. Thank you for watching, have a great day!